Hey guys, I am here today with this. This is the 2024 Lexus LC 500 convertible. Let's get into it. If you guys subscribe to my channel, you may know that I reviewed this vehicle a couple years ago, um, the 2022 version, um, and there have been a couple upgrades to the LC500 since then, but it's still a fave of mine, but not for the reasons you'd think. Let me tell you more. To know and love the Lexus LC500, there are a few things you have to accept. Let me give you three of them. One, it's super, but it's not a supercar. Two, it looks very sporty, but it's not a sports car. Three, this is a touring vehicle. This is meant to tour a city, tour a countryside, drive around with a friend and chat, not to rip around a racetrack. So let's talk a little bit about what's happening under the hood. So we've got a five liter naturally aspirated V8 engine. It's producing 471 horsepower and 398 foot pound of torque. So this means it gets to zero to 60 in 4.4 seconds. Listen guys, it's 2024. Those numbers aren't impressive by any means, but it's not necessarily how fast this car is off the line that really gives its edge and its beauty. It's what happens sort of after you hit maybe three of the 10 speeds it's got going in here. That's when you love this car. Let me tell you guys a little bit more about this drive. So like I said, it's not gonna be the fastest car off the line. If that's what you're looking for, this is not the car for you. Where this car gets really impressive, and this generation is even more impressive than the last one, is when you get above like 30 miles per hour and you really start ripping into it. That's when this new um, suspension becomes really, really interesting because um, the steering is very, very precise and the handling is exciting. Exceptional. I can't tell you the fun I had in this car. So the other thing that is so impressive about this vehicle is there are all these different drive modes. Um, and that's been, that was true in the last generation as well. But what's really remarkable is, so there's a comfort, eco, there's a normal or, or customizable area, and then there's a sports and a sports plus. Precision that happens in the Sport and Sport Plus is really tremendous. The road feel is really, really nice. If you are someone that like a, likes a stiffer vehicle, which of course I do, and there's a dirty joke, but I'm not doing it. Um, and the Comfort Eco Mode is incredibly comfortable. So if grandma gets in the car with you and you're just, you know, rolling over to church or whatever, you're gonna be just fine. One of the things that's really weird about this car are the engine sounds. So what um, Lexus has done is they've taken the natural sounds. Believe me, when you get in this car, you're gonna be like, this is fake, this is pumped in. Well, yes and no. So these are the actual vehicle sounds, but they pump them back through um, some vents in the cockpit. What's cool about that is it's gonna be louder for you than it is for every, anybody else. So you're not necessarily pissing off your neighbors or getting kicked out of the HOA, but every time you turn around this car, you're reminded that it can really perform. One thing that I really didn't like about this car is there's nowhere to put your stuff. Like, okay, there's a cup holder, wah, wah, loser, right? This is the thing for the, um, the convertible top as well as the windows. And then there's this little guy that can be covered up. Obviously you can close that and then you've got a nice armrest. But when you open it up, this is supposed to be for a cup. And then this is for a phone. And if you put a phone in there, I found that my arm was hitting it. It was flying off. Um, I needed somewhere to put my phone. Of course, I know they want us to put our phone away. They want us to put it in here, which is why the jacks are in here. So there are, there's a USB-C port as well as a regular um, USB port in here. So I'm supposed to put my phone in there, but let's be real. Would ya? Would you really? And plus, if you need like Kleenex or lip gloss, where are you gonna put that? I guess in your purse? I don't know. There's a, um, there's a glove box, obviously, but again, that's tiny. I feel like they could have given us a little bit more space but stuff, we've all got stuff. Also, um, for the 2024 model year, you've got the Lexus Safety Suite. So included in that is um, lane departure with steering assist, you've got the um, automatic braking, and you've got road sign detection. So basically what it does is it 
read the road signs for you uh, and we'll alert you when you're in a school zone or a construction zone and obviously it's going to tell you when you're going over the speed limit which frankly in this vehicle is pretty easy also new for this 2024 model year you've got um, this touch screen that's 12.3 inches which is fantastic you've got standard wireless um, Apple CarPlay, Android Auto. You've also got um, 4G Wi-Fi for up to five devices, which is pretty sweet. I'm so relieved that they've got the Apple CarPlay. It really, really helped with my experience in this vehicle, so hallelujah. Um, and the convertible, the convertible top goes down and what it says is 15 seconds. It also says it takes 16 seconds to close. Either way, it's pretty fantastic. And there's a separate button next to the convertible top button that operates the uh, window. So they can all go up or down with the push of a button. If you buy a convertible, you don't necessarily think it's gonna be your grocery getter, but it's kind of nice if you can get groceries. I found that I could, but it wasn't the best. Like I had to really push things down and make sure um, that I could lay a lot of things on their side to make it work in this. It's not a big trunk, guys, so don't get your hopes up. How bad is the backseat of this car? I mean, look, I'm sitting pretty comfortably right now, right? Then when the driver gets in, this is set for my settings. I'm only 5'6", right? Whoa. Oh, geez. Yeah. No, it's, re it's really not the best. So there you have it. The 2024 Lexus LC500 convertible. Boy, I really enjoyed my time in this car, and I hope you did too. I'm Motorhead Mama. Thanks so much for watching, and please subscribe.